Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the 911 Strong Podcast. It's episode 11. Wow. That means we've survived. Well, we'll see if we can get through this one, but we survived 10 episodes together. And nobody's pulled us off the air. No we, complaints yet. Yeah, and we haven't reached across the table to kill each other. That's a good thing. So we're good. But you know what? We realized after, after 10 episodes that there might be people out there that don't know who we are. We have our traditional audience, the people that came to this podcast from our social media platforms, where we're all... We're wildly popular. <laughs> um, but uh, no, uh, on our last check, we have 16 countries that listen to our podcast. Really? Yeah, all over Asia, all over Europe, the Baltic. Um, it's just crazy. Uh, I'll pull up the stats right after this when we come back on the next episode of the Adam's Run Podcast. Station to all units. Prepare to copy. You're listening to the 911 Strong Podcast. Don't act like I never told you. With Aram and Kristen, bringing you stimulating discussion. No, I like the sound of that. An entertaining conversation. And now, here's Kristen and Aram. Hey guys, and we're back. Welcome back to the 911 Strong Podcast, episode 11. Speaking of 11, look what I got. I have one better. But you can recognize, yeah, you can. When you flip these phones over and you see that that camera um, layout and this camera layout, you know we got the 11s. We do. But, you know, it's not like I'm one of those guys that has to get new tech every time it comes out. Yeah. I, I'm an Apple guy. I, I like Apple products. But my last phone prior to this was a 7, 7 Plus, which means yeah. there was a... Mine too. There was an 8, an 8 Plus, an 8R, and then the 10, the 10 Plus, the 10R. 10s. So we went through a lot. Yeah, we we did pretty good. Mm-hmm. They last. Yeah, they did. At least my last one did. They did. We then, just got a sweet deal. Yeah, dropping from AT and T. That's why. Oh, I need to do that. Yeah. There goes AT and T. Sorry, AT and T. Yeah, I'm not they promoting won't be you. Us <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, today's episode 11, which I thought was cool because we we've gone through 10 episodes, and uh, as I alluded to prior to the intro, um, our audience from social media pretty much know who we are, but we have a crazy list of audience members from our podcast. Our podcast stats recently came out and it shows that we've got downloads in Canada, France, Australia, Italy, Pakistan, the UK, Brazil, New Zealand. Let me go to the next page. That's how many we have. Hong (laughs) Kong, Croatia, China, Germany, Japan, and Mexico. You know, I'm Korean, by ethnicity and not a single Korean audience listener. We have to change that. How do I get on iTunes and Spotify in Korea? <laughs> I don't know. But I, I thought that's pretty cool. We're reaching. Yeah. I mean, it, and that that was the list view. If I go to the map view, I mean, it's crazy. All all the ones that are shaded, uh-huh. um, and gr- uh, green is like where we're huge in the United States. We've got tons of thousands of downloads. Uh, in nice. Canada, we're you know Canada's the second highest total, but you know, I mean, there are a few downloads here and there. But the fact that we're expanding globally kind of just blows me away i know i'm excited yeah hopefully um we get wildly popular to places that we want to visit right and they'll invite us in so we can be on a talk show or something but anyways we realize that uh, our audience may not even know who we are they're like who are these babbling (laughs) adults on social media so we we decided that this episode is going to be an episode where we're going to discover ourselves because I don't okay. know a lot about Kristen. I mean, I do. And she doesn't know a lot about... Well, no, I can't say that. We know a lot about each other, but we're going to find out a little bit more because Kristen got something called Icebreaker. Yeah. I have no idea what it is, but Kristen does because she's paid money for it. They're like little chat cards, basically, to strike up a conversation. Okay. Well, we're going to do some icebreaking today. Okay. And find out a little bit more about ourselves. And as our audience learns about us, we'll learn about each other as well. So go ahead with the first one. Okay, do you want to do something funny, like a would you rather, <sighs> you have to ask random, me. life, well, surprise if you could, or deep? Okay, let's skip deep. I yeah, don't do that episode one. 10 was deep. Let's do a would you rather. Okay. Let's do something cheesy. Let's see what comes up. Okay. <laughs> would you rather have a cook or a maid? Ooh. Cook, hands down. Yeah? Why? Hands down, cook, because I suck at cooking. Okay. I really do. And then I can have my meals all made. I wouldn't have to meal prep anymore. And I wouldn't have to... Well, hopefully she cleans the dishes That's too. That's true. Because if you meal prep, your appearance will improve. Yes. But no one... So you care more about your appearance, your personal appearance, than your home appearance. 
Yeah. Okay. I have kids. Yeah, that's true. My maid would probably want to run oh, out on me. Unless your mother-in-law lives with you. <laughs> she does. Well, she lives with me on the days that we work. And then you have a, housekeep- um, a housekeeper that comes, so... <laughs> Kristen's we do. Kristen and Danny are rich. No, we're not. Oh my gosh! Any sponsors out there? Don't no. just bypass them and go straight. We just to me. we just manage our money and spend it on certain yeah. things. You, you know, That's we, we actually talked about that. Yes, um, because we spend our money elsewhere. Mm-hmm. We prioritize differently. We yeah. want. We'd rather have a p- more experiences for the family than yeah. p- personal possessions. Yeah, so. and she she does help like immensely, but it's not our entire house. It's right. just the main rooms of the house, right. and that. Again, it's because we're both working yep. and we have the kids and all their stuff that they're doing and all yeah. their activities and we just don't have Yeah. The it's time. different when you have a two income household. Who's, yes. Yes. Because you're fighting for Definitely. who takes care of the housework and you obviously And it's we, always me. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Danny good. doesn't help. Danny's me. not here to defend himself. <laughs> Sorry, Danny. No, right. but yeah. That's so a good I'd one. rather have a cook. How about you? Cook or maid? Um, I'd have to agree with you. I think um where I struggle is um, with meal prep because mm-hmm. um, it's so much easier for me to go through the drive through <laughs> The other day I had yeah. to watch the kids. I, I, it was last week. Yeah. When we were, we were done recording, uh, Liz was out. She had an appointment somewhere, and I was responsible for fi- feeding the kids lunch. Mm-hmm. And, and I looked at one look at the fridge. I'm like, I'm going to have to make something. Open the pantry. I'm going to have to make something. So in true dad form, what did you do? I asked the little one to ask her <laughs> siblings where she want, they wanted to eat. And Panda Express drive through <laughs> is where I went. <laughs> yep. And I love orange chicken. So um, that was Go easy. figure. All right. I'm going to pick the next one. How do you know what the categories are? You can pick it up a little bit and it'll say. Oh, where? Yeah. Towards you see at the top. Oh, life. Oh, that's deep too, huh? Random. I'll just pick something random. Okay. I don't like that one. Oh, <laughs> dumb. Cheating. Oh, uh, uh, that's a hard one too, but I'll ask it since. Okay. Since which famous person have you met besides me? Besides you? Are you going to answer first or do you want me to answer? Um, which famous person I'm have trying you to remember Man, who so I've met. It's so hard because I met a lot of famous people. Wait, uh, are we talking IG famous because we're now in this well, era? Both. Or are you I mean, talking about. Like movie things. Yeah, I guess t- in today's society, people, because it blows me away. Like on our recent camping trip, mm-hmm. I, uh, there was an explorer from the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department passing out candy. Oh, yeah. And he's just, he's with a bunch of other explorers and um, deputies, and he's just staring at me really hard. And I'm like, I either look like a suspect or <laughs> he recognizes me. So I'm like, do I look familiar to you? Like, yeah, I just don't remember where I know you from. And I said, uh, do you have Instagram? He's like, oh my gosh, you're 911 strong. And that blows me away because I guess in today's world, kid, more kids are plugged into social media mm-hmm. than TV. So yeah. if you're a personality on social media, I guess you're famous to them. But for me, people I consider famous are professional athletes, movie stars, and TV stars. Yeah. And I've had the privilege of meeting at least one from every – from a sport, from a – from TV and from movies. Uh-huh. Um, and I think you just get that from living out here in Southern California. Yeah. Um, but let's see, which famous person I met? I met Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, that's he was cool. A, he was getting a, an award, actually. He was with Jamie Lee Curtis, who was the MC, And I got invited to the sheriff's dinner, LA County Sheriff's Dinner, uh, where they were honoring Shaquille O'Neal. He, for a lot of people who don't know that Shaq used to be a police officer. Uh-huh, um, yeah. A reserve police officer while he played for the Lakers. And he was a reserve with the LA... Port Police, mm-hmm. and he he served one weekend a month, I think, is what his commitment was. Uh, but he went to the Sheriff's Academy. Um, so anyways, he was getting an award because he happened to be patrolling. And mm-hmm. on the day he was patrolling, a wanted suspect was hiding in the port because the port is just, I mean, you can hide in the port. There's all these containers and stuff. And he happens to be, he happened to find them. By and, just looking over the containers? <laughs> yeah, right? He has a, he's, a, he's got it's an aerial massive. view. But... Can you imagine if you're the suspect and you see this dude that's seven foot tall, like 500 yes. pounds, just bound with muscle, um, come out of the car? Hey, you're surrendering right away. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what this guy did. He won an award for that. <laughs> um, and uh, we th- that was pretty cool. How about you? Which famous person that's have you cool. met? Um, let's see. Like movie wise, uh, it was a brief encounter with um, Halle Berry because oh. we were invited to the premiere for that nine one one dispatch movie that she did. I can't remember what it was called. It was good, and then oh, it yeah. kind of went cheesy because yeah. the dispatcher went rogue and like right. went after the suspect. Um, so we met her there. Um, 
And then IG wise, um, back in my competition days, I met Amanda Latona and she is like huge in, in bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. And then, um, we met her husband as well. I can't think of his name, but he used to be a firefighter. So that was kind of cool for me and my husband to meet with them and just kind of have a chat over, you know, first responder stuff. So I meet famous, they're very down to earth Instagram people every time I look in the mirror. Oh, jeez. Just kidding. I mean, I met Aram. Just oh, kidding. my gosh. You know, honestly, I don't even... Because cons- I, I have a lot of followers, but yeah. it's not... I don't consider that famous, a famous following. Mm-hmm. These people have millions. Yeah, there's some in, there's some insane, yeah. highly account. And but. I don't have anything close to that, but I'm, I'm not saying I'm not grateful. I, well, your account is massive compared to mine, so maybe that'll help you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go pick the next one. Okay. All right. Let's try... All right, let's try life, I guess. Uh, we're gonna get deep. We'll here. see if it's deep. Oh, Australia! We had a lot of a lot of Australian French listeners. Oh my so. gosh, I'd love to go Australia. Yeah, that's on my bucket list. Yeah. So anybody that's listening in Australia that's got room in their budget for a party of eleven. Okay, I'm gonna make this into a funnier one. Well, to me, it's funny. Okay, it's kind of Halloweenish. So it says, "What's your best scar story?" Scar? So I'm scare story? Scar. It says scar. So I'm taking it as like a mental scar. You can do like scar on your... No? I don't know. Do you have any like physical scars? I have one on my knee. Okay. Well, that's your best story then. How'd you get that one? Okay. All right. Then we'll switch gears. No, go ahead. So d- my d- best d- scar on my knee story, which really isn't that fantastic, is we're at my house and it's a good like downhill street. Mm-hmm. And um, we built a ramp on the sidewalk. And it's a makeshift ramp that we made, I think, when I was probably 13. So it's a really crappy ramp. And so I started at the top of the hill, and this was about mid-hill. And I decided to show off for the neighbors because all of us were out there riding our bikes. And I wanted to do a jump off this ramp and twist my wheel while I was doing it. So... Here I go as fast as I can, and I fly up high, and I do my handlebars, and I switch to the left and to the right. Well, then when I came down, I went too far again to the left and spun out and scraped up my whole knee, and I blacked out for I don't even know how long. And then I came to. Yeah, my parents didn't know because we're kids, and we're like, oh, Oh she's fine. She'll walk it off. You need lessons from... uh... (laughs) I don't ride bikes anymore. Well, the, the founder of Dangerous But Good, who... Kristen and I are sponsored by Dangerous But Good uh, yeah. on our individual accounts. The owner of the company's name is Scott Parkinson. His son, Noah, is a fantastic BMX racer. And he's he's a little kid, and he can run circles around us. Oh, I but bet. Need, you need lessons from him. I do. I do. Okay, but what about emotional scar? Okay, so my emotional like cheese ball scar was way back when Like my parents are very like were very controlling over what I could and couldn't watch. Right. So I was maybe... I don't know, six or seven years old. And I woke up early one night. And so I went down and um, I turned on the TV and Freddy Krueger was on. <laughs> and I was never allowed to watch any of those right. like scary movies, right? So I'm watching it. That's a horrible one to start with. <laughs> For your first scary movie. <laughs> right. Jeez. I didn't know any better, but I'm like, oh, they don't want me to watch it. Yeah. I'm doing it because that's the kind of person I am. So I start watching it and it's this like junkyard scene. And this girl's like walking in there and all of a sudden, it, this voice starts coming over, and they're like, Kristen, Kristen, wake up. Wake up, Kristen. My eyes are getting all big. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then all of a sudden, in the junkyard, they start having like an earthquake in the junkyard. At that same time, we're having an earthquake no. at home. And I'm like, ah, That's like 4D. Never again. I'll never do it again. I swear. And I just ran back to my bed. And and knowing your dad, your dad probably made that a lesson too, <laughs> he huh? probably did. It's like, do you I think never that was a coincidence, Kristen? Freddy Krueger after that, yeah. ever. I don't know. That doesn't sound like a coincidence. <laughs> that sounds like God intervened there. Yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll put it back later. All right. Uh, oh, here. I'll just do a would you rather because it okay. was in front. Oh, no. <laughs> you answer it first. I don't like that chuckle. Would, would you rather always have gas or <laughs> always have bad breath? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I guess this is a situation where you're choosing the lesser of two. Well, gas can be painful to me. <laughs> what? You've ever... Okay. You have painful gas? Yes. Okay, I'll tell no. And guys can relate to... Maybe even oh girls, my but gosh. my... 
the memory that's triggered by a bad gas is my first date with my wife, Liz. <laughs> I was so nervous, and we our first date was a movie, and that's when I discovered movie theater popcorn gives me tremendous gas. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to hold it because I'm like, I don't know if I can control the seepage. Oh, my god! <laughs> you know, gosh. control the volume of this thing. So I'm holding it because no. I'm like, I don't want to ruin my first date. I really like this girl. <laughs> and um, sure enough, after the movie, oh, we, we actually walked out of the movie because it was so bad. Yeah. It was just not edifying. It was horrible. Not a good first date movie. And we went to next door at the Cheesecake Factory mm-hmm. and we had dessert. And what did I get? Cheesecake. <laughs> And what does dairy Smart. do to me? It makes me gassy. So um, I'm like, I'm just sweating at this point. Like my abs are just ripped at this point because I'm like, oh, I gotta hold this. <laughs> oh my! And I didn't. Th- I don't know why I didn't think to excuse myself to go to the bathroom or something and just let it rip at the <laughs> and come back relieved. <laughs> and on top of that, I, you know, got to drive her home, and I'm sitting in the car. Oh no, this is. I didn't drive her home. That's right. We drove separately. Oh. So, but we happened to park across from each other, and. Um, <laughs> So we, we split from there, walked to her car, and uh, gave her a hug goodbye. As soon as I got into my car, I let that Ew, thing rip. you bombed your car. I hotboxed my, my car. <laughs> so nasty. And it was the sensation of relief that, oh, my God. If you've ever experienced what I just described, you know what I'm talking about. That relief was like, oh, my God. Your belt felt loosened. And it's like, oh, my gosh. But uh, oh let's see. Would I rather have that experience again or bad breath? I'm going to have to say bad breath has never affected me. It affects other people. So I would <laughs> rather have bad breath than gas because I think uh, at this point oh the gas experience gosh. was traumatic. So I'd rather other people suffer than me. What about you? Yeah, no, same. I'd rather have bad breath. <laughs> yeah. At least you can always distance yourself from Can you from smell people? my breath right now, actually? <laughs> I have a bad I have a bad nose. Okay. I can't really smell, so, so that's why we get along so be- well. <laughs> before you got here, um, Liz and I had lunch at uh, Flame Broiler. Oh, okay. And Flame Broiler was founded in Fountain Valley by some Korean people, and one of the most famous Korean dishes that they have in Korea is kimchi. Mm-hmm. You either love kimchi or you hate kimchi. I've never had it. Okay, kimchi is is a cabbage dish, and it's fermented cabbage. It's which is sauerkraut. Uh-huh. The difference is sauerkraut is sliced, uh-huh. and kimchi is kind of whole pieces of cabbage. Okay, it's made the same way, but it, it's spicy. They add chili flakes to it. Mm-hmm. So I like it. I, I, I eat it with my pizza. Actually, I like it so much. And when you go to Hawaii, if you, you go eat to, kimchi with your pizza, yep. If you go to Pizza Hut in Hawaii, it's a topping. Oh, yeah, because there's so much Korean influence in Hawaii. Uh-huh. A lot of Japanese and Korean influence in Hawaii. So I, they have this. Um, Famous pizza at the Pizza Hut in Hawaii that's Spam and Kimchi. It's a Korean pizza. Huh. And um, Spam is another thing. I can't that, say I've tried that either. Really? No. I have both here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So anyway, no. right before you came, I had, <laughs> right before you came I, Liz and I had lunch together after our, our workout, and I had kimchi. So I'm well, glad, I'm glad we're sitting it. apart. Yeah, glad you can't smell And my it. nose doesn't work. I'll put that right back on the front. All right. Pick the next one. Okay. Let's see. How did that get there? We'll do another would you rather. I think we're having more fun with these. All right. No, that one's boring. Okay. Would you rather not have arms or legs and why? Oh. What do you mean? Like, oh, not have them at all. Not have them at all. Ooh. I would say... I would rather not have legs. God, we need to stop agreeing on that because I feel the same way. Well, because... I'd rather be able I, to hug my kids. That's where my mind went. Uh, well, <laughs> my mind actually... <laughs> never. Um, not this show. <laughs> the, the thing is, I do so much more with my hands. I type. Where legs, you can get... Prosthetics. Prosthetics, uh, prosthetics or you can have a wheelchair. You can be more... Mo- I don't say more mobile... You can be mobile. Maybe still. more options. Yeah. Whereas if yeah. you don't have arms, it's, there's no prosthetic that allows you to type. I mean, I'm sure that's coming down the line, but yeah. Or or feel the embrace of your children, and mm-hmm. yeah, that's an easy one. I guess. All Boo. Right. Next one. That was a good one because I didn't <laughs> think about it before. Hmm. This one's kind of deep, but well, maybe I'll save that one for later. That's kind of an emotional thing too. 
I'm just going to pick one. <laughs> All right. Uh, I wish I would have done them before. All right. Would you rather be a star player on a losing football team or ride the bench on a winning one? Oh. Being a football player, <laughs> I would rather play. I love to win, don't get me wrong, but I love to play more. I want to f- know that I have fate in my own hands. Whereas I sit, if I sit on the bench and they're winning, they're kind of doing it without me. Yeah. And I had no impact. Maybe maybe cheering on the sidelines, but yeah. I think for... <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would rather play. I'd rather have my playing time and know that I gave some effort. Okay. So I'm going to... I agree with you, but because we've been agreeing, I'm going to disagree with you <laughs> okay. this time. So I'll be a bench player on a good team because at least I was good enough to get on that good team. Mm. I'm still got the jersey. I'll still get the ring. I'll still get paid well. Like and a typical woman, it's being, all about the ring. being a guy, I'd be like, well, I'm still getting the girls anyways and the recognition because I have the jersey. That's so sexist. Why do you just assume you have to be a guy to be on a football team? Well, currently, right now, professional NFL. Okay. All right. <laughs> if you want to start going that route. Well, it didn't say NFL. Well, so. I'm talking NFL. Okay. Uh, good point. And you're probably going to have that ring and opportunities afterwards to talk on TV and stuff because you won a championship. All right. Good point. <laughs> you can play at practice. <laughs> Here, I'll pick the next one. I'm just going to pick one. Okay, I'm just go pick ahead. One. Oh, another would you rather. Oh, no. You already we, answered we that one. Have would you rather cook, cook or have a maid? Oh, that oh. was me. <laughs> this is random. Okay. <laughs> this one's an if you could. <laughs> if you could arm wrestle any historical figure, who would you choose and why? <laughs> I have to think about that historical figure. That's weird. Why would you be arm wrestling with them? I don't know. I know that the answer people are expecting from us is probably to say, like, Jesus. But Jesus would annihilate me. Like, he wouldn't even have to physically touch me. He would just pop. Right? So maybe, let's see, who would I want to arm wrestle and why? Hmm. All right, I'm going to have to think about that one. Uh, we're skipping okay. that one. All right, fine. Because we'll, this show so will weird. be another half hour of me thinking, oh, that's life. That's kind of my... Let's we'll talk about life. <laughs> I answered that one already. Oh, I'm sure people want to know this. What's your guilty pleasure? Right off the top of my head, Chocolate. Hmm. Chocolate. That's that seems to be the same for most women. Yeah, I overindulge in chocolate. Let's Do you? see. Aside from that, I think. I mean, I guess it's like well, I don't know, like quiet time. Oh yeah. I like being but having like that quiet to myself. Yeah. I was gonna say uh, bourbon, <laughs> <laughs> but Shocker. Um, what bourbon usually does to me is it leads to a nap. Yeah. I love napping. That's that's I like I miss napping so bad. I don't even know what that is. That anymore. really is a guilty pleasure because my wife makes me feel guilty when I do nap. She will <gasps> Oh, if we're going with guilt like that, yeah. then shopping. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that is your My husband will always make me feel bad about shopping and then yeah. he gets an Amazon package before I do. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good that's a good answer <clears throat> because um I do feel guilty if I buy something selfish for myself mm-hmm. and then I say no to my kids or my wife or something and they want. I'm like, well, I guess I have to say yes. And yeah. Then, then I'm poor. Okay. Well, that was a good one. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I it's keep... okay. You can keep picking. No, okay. That's I'll fine. I'll just pick the one that is sticking out in front of me here. Oh, I already know the answer for this one for you. Which season fits your personality? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Why don't we do this one? Why don't we change it up for this one? I'm going to... Do you think you know the answer for me or no? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Like, okay. are we picking the fall seasons or holiday seasons? Sorry, I guess I look too much too well, I was gonna much say, into these questions. <laughs> well, I guess it, it would be the same, right? Because if you like one holiday, it's going to fall within... Because, like, okay, I'm just going to say it. I think okay. you're a fall person. Okay. I think you like your boots, you like your <laughs> scarves, and your... Are your you co- calling me a coffee. basic white girl? <laughs> no, she just did. <laughs> Not me. But you do. I and yeah. I know in the summer your house isn't as decorated as it is during the fall. During the True. fall, you have your wreaths, your your haystacks, and all that stuff, right? So, yeah. And um, 
don't know. I'm just guessing. I could be wrong. I think fall is your. Yeah, I like fall. I like cooler weather. Okay. That's why I don't like the heat. Okay. You know, I burn too easily. But yeah, that's kind of a <laughs> gimme, right? Because like, what, what? There's spring, there's fall, there's winter, there's summer. I don't know. There's really nothing to look Because in the summer, the kids are home. <laughs> yeah. But then that means vacation too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would say for me, winter is my favorite. I like rain. I like, like snow. Like your glum. Huh? Like, I said you're glum. I'm glum. <laughs> what is glum? I don't know. Like like Eeyore. I have to look that up. Oh, okay. Um, no, what I, do you I say just, winter? I like weather. Right? Okay, so we're talking weather season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and plus it's got Thanksgiving and Christmas in it. Those are my two yeah. favorite holidays. So that's that's why I'm a winter guy. Yeah. I always looked. I, I know kids looked forward to. I, I looked for, forward to the summer when I was in school because there was no school. Yeah. But as a grown up, my two favorite holidays are Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah. And my I love the weather in the winter too. I I mean, <laughs> I'll send you. I think I've sent you guys clips of hail. That's how thrilled I get yeah. when the weather comes. Oh, we're hailing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's do a couple more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fictional. If you could have any fictional character, fictional character as your friend, who would you choose and why? You want me to go first? Yeah. First thing that came to mind was Han Solo. <laughs> Is it because the boots? Because <laughs> he wears the boots and the vest. Yeah, he's so basic. He makes me basic together. <laughs> because we could take his ship, we could go wherever. Yeah. He, okay. He has his other best friends, Chewy, yeah. so he'll be kicking it with us. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. Just go wherever okay, we want. That's a good one. Oh, boy. Now you got my head stuck in Star Wars. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a Star Wars nerd. Well, not complete nerd, but yeah, I like it. I don't know. Fictional character. Think of I would movies. Say, Ooh, John Wick. He would be cool to have. But he would friend. be a cool friend to have um, like when it hits the fan. Hey, John, yeah. I need you for this one. Well, yeah, you wouldn't want him to come over and play cards. This sounds <laughs> very... I can't say this word either, but it sounds very odd. I would say this, but Tinkerbell. <laughs> <laughs> you want her pixie dust? Because <laughs> I could fly. Okay. She, all she, it wouldn't be a full-time thing. It's just like, hey, I feel like flying today. Oh, and is it because she can't talk to? You she, just hear bells? She, talk? she doesn't talk. I Not to humans. Talk. Oh, okay, I thought she did talk. She only rings a bell. And she's kind of good looking too. I'm telling Liz when we get out of here. I Liz knows. <laughs> she might have a Tinkerbell costume maybe somewhere. Oh my gosh. Just kidding. No, we don't. That's, that's um, kind of funny that you picked a fairy and I picked somebody who like fights throughout yeah, the galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just secure in my masculinity is what I'm saying. And you're secure in your femininity. I think, uh, no, but I mean, I think as a even as an adult, but most kids want to fly. Yeah, and in no, my, it's true. And the rationale there is I'm not Superman, so I don't have the gift of flying, but humans can oh. be sprinkled with fairy dust, pixie dust, and fly. So there you go. <laughs> hmm. I saw that one. I didn't want to answer it. Oh, here you go. <laughs> I've done oh, no. both. Here comes another I've one. I've done both. I don't know if you have, but I've done both. Would you rather date someone you met online or go on a blind date? Oh my gosh! <sighs> have I? I don't think I've ever met anyone online. Really? I have gone on a blind date. Well, I guess it was through online, but like back in the day, what was it? Instant Messenger or something like that? AOL. AOL. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're kind of dating. Our, well, that's when you back had, dating ourselves. That's when you had dial up. And, but yeah. oh man, probably somebody I met online. So I have maybe an idea okay. rather than a blind date. Yeah. yeah. So you could you could feel I think because it has something to do with control. So that way at least I feel like I have control, even though you know that this person showing up is probably maybe not what they are or appear to be. All right. That's that's a tough one. I mean, I it's easy. It's an easy answer in the sense that I married a girl I met online back in the back when online dating was taboo. Like you never said like when we're yeah. dating. Oh, and people would ask, how'd you guys meet? Yeah. We would never say we met on a dating site. Yeah. We met on a dating site. Uh, it was <laughs> called christiancafe.com. <laughs> and um, uh, but there's a story behind that. I, I lived in Monrovia, which was really close to Restaurant Row, and then five minutes from D Old Town Pasadena. And if you know anything about Old Town Pasadena, the only time you go to Old Town Pasadena is because 
you're bar hopping. And my roommate <laughs> and I did that a lot. And we met, I dated a lot of people when I was single. Um, and I just got tired of that scene. Yeah. And um, it wasn't for me because I was really, heavy, I, was, I had just broken up with a girl that I had been with for like four and a half years. And um, she, I don't know, for whatever reason, I went back to church and I had a period where I didn't go to church. I was a bad boy and um, I did the whole bar hopping thing. And I had a desire to meet a girl from church. Mm-hmm. I think in my, in my mind, I was ready to get married. And the girls at church, I just, they weren't for me. I went on a blind date. It wasn't a blind date. I knew who the girl was, but I didn't know her. I uh-huh. knew of her. And somebody in my Bible study group set me up with her. Mm-hmm. And it was the worst date in the world. <laughs> so we met at the Irvine Spectrum. Uh huh. And um, we sat down. She was four foot 11, which I had no problem with, but she had a horrible problem with it. Really? She's like, when we met, she's like, well, now that you know how tall I am, you can you can leave if you want. And I was like, no, I'm. Oh my god, height doesn't bother me. I'm not. I'm not Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or anything. Yeah, that's what heels are for. Right, and she did have clogs on. That's when clogs ran. Oh my gosh, clogs! And I'm like, <laughs> I, I knew how tall you were, and she's like, oh, okay. So we sat down. We ordered some food. Food comes, and I start digging into the fries, and she goes, "Well, I guess I'll pray for myself." I'm like, no, oh, I just, you no. know, it's not something I. I don't know. It was just a horrible blind date. So, yeah, based on that fact yeah. that the online date I went on compared to the blind date I went on, I ended up marrying the the online date. Yeah, I think that won't work better for me. <laughs> I'd say so. Yeah. I don't know. Would, Awkward. Would, another, you know, it's not a question that we picked from this thing, but I got a question now. Let's just say for whatever reason you had to start dating again. Oh, my gosh. Because Liz no. and I have talked about this. It's yeah. like, I don't think I could do it. Yeah, I would be so lost in 2019 on how to date. I don't know, you know, because if you do something that's considered chivalrous, like open the door or pay the bill or yeah. order for the woman, you're sexist. Yeah, or you're a pig. Yeah, I just do. You think it'd be easy for you to date in this day and age? No, because I'd expect them to open the door or to pay. Right, and guys don't do that anymore. Huh? Yeah, and they don't. They don't. So yeah. Well, I mean, you know what? There's some, my, my daughter was dating somebody that did pay for everything, but she was on the other end. She'd be like, Oh no, I need to pay. Okay. No. And then my, you know, way of thinking is no, let him pay. Yeah. He's the man. And that's Mm. just how I feel, but I don't know what I would do or where I would go. Like, I think I'd just be over it. Okay. Like if we didn't work out, I'd be over it. I'd just be a widow. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I don't think I would date anymore. I think I'd be um, single for life. I, I think, you know, with kids and stuff now, my life for them would be my, my life would be about them, and maybe after I turn like sixty and my kids, dad would tell you. You'd be like on. a crazy grandpa. No, I'd be a fun <laughs> grandpa. Oh, this is kind of a good one. Um, I think we'll end the show on this one. Okay. Let me just make sure I. Oh, we'll end the show on two questions because I found two really good ones. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, you answer this one first. Oh man. Okay. Uh, if you could. If you could only keep three things from your home, what would they? What would you pick and why? If you could only pick three things from your home, what would you pick and why? Am I already clothed and wearing what I would normally wear? <laughs> and you really have a different perspective. When you I do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I get technical with stuff. <laughs> you know, it's funny. And when we were talking about earthquakes, yeah. Um, and then you just brought this question was brought up. It triggered a memory. So from like sixth grade. To like high school, mm-hmm. I had this paranoia. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's probably why. It's uh, probably an underlying. <laughs> I think I know where you're going with I this. My head, of shampooing my. I would shampoo my hair so fast because yeah. the last thing I wanted to do was be in the shower. Yes. And run out with shampoo in my hair. That was for, like I was so paranoid yeah. about that stuff. I, for for whoever has earthquakes, that's exactly what we're talking oh, about. Oh yeah, I forget. Yeah. yeah, people that are in France and Australia. And yeah. Pakistan, well, sorry. that's my fear. Like, what if we're in the shower, yeah. or what if we're going to the restroom, right? Like, yeah. And it hits. Well, I don't mind the rest so of the things. Bad. I know I can find toilet paper later. Or, but No. I mean, but you can't see. <laughs> At least you can see. But That's with shampoo true. in your eyes, how can you see? That's you don't know where you're, you might be running deeper into the house than now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so aside from like the the normal things like my family that I would grab okay, out like of there. If, like, let's, let me change the question. Materialistic Yeah, things. if you were to, you're, you're clothed. <laughs> I if, just want to make sure I close yeah. my, jo- my if, rings on. If you were told you have to leave uh, to Australia... Mm-hmm. tonight mm-hmm. and you can only take 
three things from your home, you know, in addition to your family and kids and stuff, mm-hmm. three things from your home, what would they be? Knowing that your house would be fully furnished when you get there. These are just items. Okay. Yeah. So I would take my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's horrible, but I would take yeah. my phone. I would take my photo album and what else? I think just, I don't know, maybe like a disc with videos of the kids. Hmm. Yeah, I would agree with you on the photo albums thing because like even everything else you can replace eventually, Mm -hmm. but you can't replace photos and albums and stuff like that. So I would agree with you on that one. Three things is hard. (sighs) I really like, I'm attached to my pillow and I don't know if they have (laughs) these pillows in Australia, but they're the memory foam ones that have the cooling gel. Yeah. (laughs) Um, So I'm attached to that. Um... But yeah, I'd agree with you on the photo albums thing. One more thing. Mm-hmm. Did you come up with three? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's the videos of the kids. Mm. Like one of those disk drive things. Yeah. <laughs> or I guess my animals, since maybe that wasn't included. No, your animals were good. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would say my weapons, my guns. I'm attached. I to figured them. Danny would take those things. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then the last question. All right. Last one. Last because one. Because it says the word last in here. What's the last thing you completed on your bucket list? Okay. I guess assuming you had a bucket list. I Yeah, I have a bucket list of like little random things, okay. I think. So a big thing was going to... Oh, what's the last thing? Yeah, the last thing. Okay. Not the biggest thing, but the last thing. The last thing... Um, for me, and it's it's cheesy, but it's just one of those hard things just because of, um, I guess, per- pushing myself mm-hmm. to continue growing. So I just put out recently that I was going to do um, a meeting with dispatchers and a meeting with law enforcement officer wives. Oh, okay. And doing it through Zoom like and just group. building like a community. Yeah, okay. a support group kind of thing. Did You already did that though, right? No, no. Um, the email's going out today so it'll be on monday oh, okay mm-hmm. yeah so that's the recent recent wow i didn't know our that. other one was me putting out that i wanted to speak in public and that was taken we did that at the yacht club event oh yeah i forgot because so, that terrifies me well you did good on that one you did excellent um i thought you did something with it, a bunch of dispatchers didn't you um we did a, like a pumpkin decorating no, you had thing a, a thing at a restaurant with all a bunch of dispatcher women Oh, I did. Yeah, I did a meetup for dispatchers. Okay, it was a meetup. Okay. Yeah, and that was really good too. But it was really hard to coordinate times with yeah. everybody because our schedules are so crazy. Right. So instead, I'm doing it on Zoom meetings instead. Yeah. Okay, I think um, that's something that's going to be on my bucket list. I want to do. We have so many people that have always said, "I want to meet you," and mm-hmm. you know, over the years, we've gotten tight with people on social media that we've never met before. Yeah. So why not have like an event? Like yeah. I don't want I don't want to say this too loud because I think people are going to steal my idea. But there's conventions like there's Comic Con, yeah, all these you know. But why don't we have a social convention, mm-hmm. a convention where social media personalities can set up their booth? I don't know, say booths, but you know, a meet and greet or yeah. something. Yeah, I don't know. That's something that I might be working on. Uh, let's see. The last thing on my bucket list, which I I didn't want, I would have pushed this one as far back as possible, next to skydiving. I don't know why it's on my bucket list other than – because I don't want to do it. I really don't. But it's on my bucket list is skydiving. Um, but I am terrified of tiny planes, like small two-seater yeah. planes. And I got to go up in one yeah. uh, a few weeks ago. And then a total surprise to me was he allowed me to fly it. <laughs> Zero experience flying anything that requires uh, – it wasn't – I don't know what you even call them. It wasn't a stick and it wasn't a steering wheel. But this – it was a steering column. <laughs> column, I, I guess. guess. I don't know. Two handed, where you have to <sighs> not only steer, uh-huh. um, but you were also controlling the pitch down and up. Oh, so, my gosh. Yeah, and I was white knuckling it the entire time. I just, oof, I hated that experience. <laughs> um, that's it. That's cool, though. What's the thing on your bucket list? This isn't a part of the list, but what's, what's something on your bucket list that's crazy that you want to do? I still want to do skydiving. Okay. I have no desire to do that, but it's on my bucket list too. I want to do skydiving, yeah. (sighs) Definitely. And then, yeah. 
I think that's it. All right, it's like to, crazy. I have nothing and to talk not about really on crazy. the next episode, so you're going to have to get that done this week so we can talk about it next week. Do what? Skydive. No. Yeah, we'll set it up. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I do know somebody that uh, from from uh, like Elsinar that can hook you up. Like I'm going to get it. I'm going to make oh the phone my call gosh, right no. now. Yeah. Don't do it. No, you'll be. I'm scheduling you. I'm going to actually pay for it. Uh, it. So, <laughs> no way. Yeah, you said it's on your bucket list. No, no, I no. I would have no. never told you what okay, mine Okay, I'll was. tell you a different one. Nope, a different one I want to do. I already heard that one. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that'll be our episode today. Oh, Thanks for God. joining us on the 9 Women Strong Podcast. I'm just kidding. I won't make you do anything you don't want to do, but I'm going to make the phone call, though. <laughs> um, but I hope you had fun with it. I had fun knowing a little bit about um, Kristen, uh, stuff I didn't know. And... Um, but what's funny was we agreed on a lot of things, which I think yeah. is the reason why our families get along so much. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, uh, this was cool. Um, if you have any questions for us, though, that we didn't ask that may not be in this icebreaker game, um, send them to us. I think it'll be kind of fun to hear audience questions uh, that you want to know about us, and we might answer some of those on, on a, yeah. a next episode or so. But uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining us on another episode of 911 Strong Podcast. We appreciate it you bring us into your homes, your offices, and on your drive. And we know that you have your choice to listen to anybody, and we just can't thank you enough for picking us to listen to. So thanks for that, guys, and uh, I guess we'll catch you next time. Yep. Thank you. Take care. Appreciate it. See you. Bye. You've been listening to the 911 Strong Podcast with Aram and Kristen. You can subscribe to the 911 Strong Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, and many other fine podcast platforms. You can also see the in-studio recording on YouTube. Just search 911 Strong. We value your opinion. Please leave us a review, and we would really appreciate a five-star rating. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to tell your friends about us. 